What is up YouTube, it's Paul Radiker here. Earlier this year, I had to get a fluid head tripod for a video project I was working on, but I didn't really have the budget for one of those really expensive Manfrotto tripod systems. So, I sought out for a budget solution. What I ended up getting was the Magnus VT4000 tripod system with the fluid head. If you're looking for a budget tripod solution that can shoot great pan shots and has really good stability, then this might be the tripod system for you. Now, this fluid head tripod does perform really well. I've actually had some experience using some of the more expensive Manfrotto tripod systems, and this VT4000 from Magnus actually performs pretty similarly to those more expensive tripod systems from Manfrotto. The, the main difference that I have found between the Manfrotto and this tripod is that you can't really adjust the resistance that well, so you know if you're trying to move it really slowly and you want to make it more resistant, you can't really adjust that. Like you either have it locked or you have it to where it can move. There's not really any in between there. So if you're wanting to adjust the speed at which the head moves around, then you, you might want to get a more expensive tripod system. But if you're just looking for something that can at least assist with a fluid motion for pan shots and you know, things like that, then this might be good for you. Now, one thing I will note, this tripod only goes up to about 59 inches, so that's a little under head height, at least for me. That is a downside, but there is a workaround for that. You can either put something under it that would kind of lift it up, or what I usually do is that I just kind of scrunch the legs together. So, you know, it might not be as stable when it's standing that way, but you would get a much higher height, which would, you know, make for better headshots and stuff like that. If you're looking for a tripod that has a little bit of a higher height, I will be reviewing a different tripod that I have that's more meant for photography, but can also work for static shots like this one. I will leave a link in the description when that video is done reviewing that other tripod that goes a lot higher, 70 inches in fact. Honestly, not the entire thing's made out of metal, but most of it is, and of course, that's going to add some weight to it, but in my opinion, it's worth it. And it, it does definitely feel premium. Like, if I didn't know the price of the tripod, I would probably say it's it's pretty, you know, it's pretty close to a Manfrotto tripod in terms of feel and how premium it looks. Now, another great thing about this tripod is that it does have a lot of room for rotating, tilting, and things like that. One other thing that's really great about this tripod system is that it has a leveler on it. Oh my gosh, that is that is probably my favorite thing about this. A lot of the cheaper tripods that I've owned, they don't really have a good way of staying level. So, you know, if you want to make your tripod level, not only does it have like a little meter to show like how level it is, but it also has a little joystick under the head that allows you to actually control, you know, how it's tilted and all of those things to try to get it to where it's completely level and wow that makes a huge difference i mean like you know i've saw a lot of videos with a cheaper tripod and <laughs> I, I usually have to like manually you know change the height of the legs and stuff like that to get it to where it's completely level because you know they don't have a way to change the tilt easily with a joystick or any of that stuff but wow having that joystick makes a huge difference it makes it so incredibly easy to get it to where it's completely level i'm sure there are a lot of cheaper tripods that have something like that but having that and the fluid head it's great so i know i don't have a lot to say about this tripod system but basically i'll just end this with saying if you're looking for the performance of a manfrotto tripod and you don't absolutely need the fine adjustments of how much resistance there is on the fluid head and stuff like that then i would say go for it this, uh, this tripod system is probably one of the best I've used. It's, I mean, it's not quite there with a the Manfrotto, but it's very close. And when you're paying only half the price of a Manfrotto, that, that's great. So if you're on a budget, you're looking for something that's like a Manfrotto, go buy this thing. It's totally going to be worth it for you, especially if you're doing a lot of you know, stuff like wedding videos and you know, little shots that you might have to like, follow a person as they walk or something. Um, you know, pan shots. Things like that. You, know, you definitely would want to get this for something like that. So guys, you know what to do. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, I guess that button works too. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. It helps a lot. Also, if you're considering getting this tripod, please use the link I have in the description below. It is an Amazon affiliate link, so it actually really helps out this channel if you click on that and buy it that way. I have been Paul Radiker, and I will see you in the next video.